otherwise, let's just get started. So, welcome everybody to one of the new shorter community meetings. Apologize for the keep, uh, for keeping uh, we keep changing the time yeah, all the time, um, but we keep experimenting with all these these formats um, for the meeting. All right, so there's somebody who <laughs> probably has a TV on. Um, hello, yeah, is there someone? Yeah. Can everyone okay. who's not talking please mute yourself? Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. So, yeah, we, we kept uh, changing the time because we keep experimenting with all these formats for the meeting. Um, so, uh, sorry if that is confusing for you. We'll try to keep the discomfort to the minimum until we can we get to like the, the perfect perfect format. Um, so today we have half an hour. So I would like to try to keep this as short as possible. So I would like everybody who's giving their updates, can you just point out to like a few things that are the most important. Everything else can, can be uh, read through either path. We have the agenda is very packed today, so I would really like to focus on the roundtable and uh, the, um, the uh, contributors of the week and things like that. Uh, and all the other updates can be read from these pads. So let's get started. Everybody yeah, thumbs uh, up? Yeah. <laughs> just, Nalina, just one comment. Um, uh, we try to put all our uh, status updates here on Friday. We're, 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 tr we're going to start doing that. So everyone has the time to go through this through the week. And I think this is one of the reasons why the um, the etherpad so filled today, um, so we hope to keep it that. And you're going to find a lot of detail, but as Madalena said, we're only going to go through the most important stuff here during the meeting. Yep. Cool. Uh, thanks, Rosanna. So let's get started then with uh, Sumo Dev. So Kadir, one thing that you think is the most important here? Oh, this is so hard. Actually, I have three uh, because this is a massive uh, feature-packed week that's coming up. Um, so three things uh, for me. One thing, show for implementation. Uh, this testing is still going on. We're fixing bugs as they come up. Uh, Mike is really on it. And uh, we will decide today how we are going to move forward uh, with the rollout. Uh, so if you can spare some time, go into the Etherpad and please um, take part in the testing. Uh, the second thing is the, uh, we have landed statuses uh, for forum threads, the backend. Um, so we will be able to track that already. But of course, the most important thing for contributors right now is the user interface that's going to change massively. So if you are a forum contributor, please go into the forum post um, where we are discussing this, and please give feedback uh, so we can um, get a UI that really works for existing contributors, but also for new, for new contributors. And the third thing is for uh, localizers. There is a massive change on its way uh, for uh, the uh, localization dashboard that's going to simplify it uh, extremely. So if you are a localizer, you probably want to get, uh, want to look at the bug uh, that is um, also linked here from the UX update part. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the three things, the big three things uh, that you probably want to get involved in uh, if, if you are affected by them. And please do. We need your feedback on, on all of those things. Right. Thank you, dear. So, this is very exciting. Any questions or comments for Kadir? Don't be shy. He was very quick. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I Michael. A, sorry. I put a, yeah. Sorry. I put a question, <laughs> but I put it in the round table. But uh, if we're talking about uh, a developer stuff right now, just uh, I, we've been having all these uh, uh, performance issues on Sumo. I was wondering if we knew anything more than we knew last week about them. Yes, I'm actually I uh, posted into the support forum uh, just just two hours ago or so about this. This is very this is very fresh. Uh, so I'm not sure if Ricky is on the call. I can't see him in this in this grid here. But if not, I can talk about this too. Uh, oh, you are here. OK. Um, I don't know if you want to give the update. Yeah, uh, the please update go ahead, is <laughs> there is no update. Uh, so we did find one issue, a database issue, where twice a day uh, a very important table 
in our database it gets lost for 30 seconds and that causes a bunch of bad things to happen. So we're going to fix that with the DBAs. It's supposed to happen, it was supposed to happen that Thursday, but um, our DBA fell asleep or something and uh, we're going to try again today and see. Hopefully that'll help things a little bit. Okay, Ricky doesn't sound very enthusiastic, but I think this is actually a very big thing. Uh, so uh, if, if that works, then it's, um, it's going to be a big thing and hopefully the big thing that's going to take care of this. Uh, we have seen uh, in increased uh, page load times over the last two weeks. Uh, that is uh, unusual or, or uh, that are higher than, than our uh, standard. Uh, so, very much looking forward to this. But we should also say that it looks like it's mostly affecting uh, um, a smaller number of our users. It's not affecting everybody. So, those who hit the cache, they shouldn't be affected by this too much. But, of course, uh, there are still a lot of people who hit none of the pages. And this, this is going to be a big deal. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Kadir, for clarifying. So we have already moved to the roundtable. Um, so then let's just get get there from the top. So the first question or discussion is about Australia, as Andrew asked. So basically, he's asking what's going to happen when this ro rolls out. Um, how are you going to deal with it in the support forum? And then uh, David also asked, what are the um, content plans for Australis? Philip wants to know if we could have a stronger presence of Mozilla stuff uh, in, in the forums once this hits uh, the release. So yes, plenty of things to discuss there. Um, Michael, you are the, the, ones, the one who is basically mostly involved with Australis. Can you tell us more about the content plans and how is the KB getting prepared for that? You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> Michael. Hello. Hello. Okay. So there's a, a big coordinated plan around Australis um, and support is one piece of this thing. So um, I'm still developing what, like, scoping out which articles are we going to update, which videos are we going to update, are there documents we can get rid of, are there, you know, new things that we need to create. Um, I'll have that done uh, early December. Um, we are still like, what did I write in there? We're like more than five months away from the actual release, if everything goes as planned, right? So we're like a minimum of five months away from the actual release. Um, but I think it's a good idea to maybe have, um, to suggest that, you know, uh, developers, UX people look in on our forums once things are released. They're also getting feedback from the user advocacy team, um, sent out a bunch of feedback this week that they're super excited to hear about. So they, they are definitely, you know, paying attention. Some of those issues that are noted are already bugs filed, things to be worked on. Um, so, so some of these things will be addressed by release. Um, uh, uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, and um, so last week you saw a bunch of blog posts and news articles about uh, Aus Australis landing in Nightly. That was, that's one piece of that big overall coordinated approach. There will be lots more things happening as we get closer to release. Um, that new update tour is one piece of the puzzle, right, that uh, everybody will see when they update. Um, but there'll be lots of stuff happening before. And the last thing I wanted to say was I've been talking with uh, Jen Birch and Laura Forrest about um, well, all the, like, documentation on Mozilla.org, those pages, like the features page and, and things like that, those need to be updated no matter what happens, they're like on an old version of the website and, and they're all for Firefox 4 and so they're going to get updated. So I've been, we've been looking at how can we make those even better um, to hopefully uh, answer most people's questions that they have about the new Firefox without ever having to go to support. 
they'll find those things much easier than support is the idea. Um, so can responses might be helpful. I would imagine for the immediate future, you're just going to have to answer things on a case by case basis. It's, that's my guess. Um, we only have like 100,000 nightly users, so hopefully well, there won't be a deluge of questions for a while. Yeah, we could we could totally work on can responses when this this is closer to release date. And I think having uh, developers and UX design, designers on the forums when this goes live uh, would be absolutely amazing. So we can totally work on that uh, and try to to already organize and ask people to do that to because I mean the forum is the best way for them to see what the hell is going on. Um, yeah, but as we are still a bit far away, uh, I think this is an ongoing discussion. And thanks, Michael, for the updates. We will be waiting for more from you. Um, and then once uh, you get um, more details, we can also coordinate on like the forum part. All right, I hope <coughs> this answers most of people's questions. If you have more, please let us know. Um, and we can talk more. Otherwise, I'll just move on to... Oh, user advocacy, you also wrote something related to feedback about Australia. Do you want to add anything, or is that um, enough? I, I think that's enough. I mean, we are sending um, every week. Uh, we'll be sending out a feedback wrap-up to all the developers, um, engineers, and UX designers about Australis. Um, and so, that will be helping, you know, if you see any issues popping up in the forums, you know, with Australis, please let us know. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Let's move on. And before we move on, I will ask again everybody to please mute because we get a bit of noise and it's, it's hard to find I'll write that in IRC as well. <laughs> so what, what video really needs is some sort of admin panel where the one running the meeting can see exactly where the audio is coming from and then just cutting that person's audio. That yeah. would be so great. Yeah, you can cut somebody's audio, but you can't tell who it is. You have to experiment one by one. Oh, really? How do you cut do everybody that? Off. If uh, you have okay. control of the room, you can manage the room and you can mute people, but, okay. but you don't know who's making the noise. So. Got it. <laughs> okay. All right, um, let's move on. So we have a proposal from Ash Ashik Ashikur. Um, he said that they are in Bangladesh, they are using um, a team Etherpad for, um, for discussing things, and he's proposing to have one, one sumo Etherpad for, for the whole community so we can, we can concentrate all the information there. Um, so I'm not sure how either pad works. Uh, um, what do you guys think? Can you do, um, can we do that? Yes, can, yeah, uh, totally. Uh, I think Ashkur, you have a, a great point. I think it makes a t total to when you're trying to organize your either pads and they they don't get lost. Uh, so I think you totally have a point, and we should do this. Um, the I I know for sure that sumo .etherpad, um isn't available. So um, what we have to do is just put your, our brains together to find a, a different Etherpad for the Sumo community. Uh, maybe something shorter, uh, maybe Sumo Co or something like that. We, we can wrap our, our brain around it. But I think great idea, great point, and I think it definitely makes it easier to, um, to work with, the, uh, with Etherpads when you have a list of things and you can see who works on that. Yes, yep, Michael? Michael? So this is just to organize all the various Etherpads, not to actually replace communicating in the forum, right? Yes, yes, mm. absolutely. It's, yeah. I, I think it's we, we, we use a lot of Etherpads for projects, at least for instance for the Buddy program, yeah, we have Etherpads here and there and maybe people want to find them and on etherpad.mozilla.org it's like super complicated so if we have one Etherpad, especially for the community, things could be easier to find. Um, yeah, I th yes, go ahead, <laughs> sorry. What, what about uh, just so that it works with the community forum, like a sticky post in the community forum with a list of the current Etherpads. Yeah, I, I think that works. It also works. That, that works. I think that people are more, uh, you know, it's easier sort of like if you create an Etherpad instead of doing it at Mozilla, it's, it's 
think the point. Uh, but is I, I told. Yeah, I think it's it's easier to browse if you s if mm -hmm. you have something where it's that is more concentrated in the sense that all the information is more or less there because basically right now the whole Mozilla is using Etherpad, so it's it's very hard and it's also hard to actually create Etherpad. I usually try to make it easier by putting a name and not having a number so I can find it afterwards, but it's hard to have a name because then there are like thousands of others just like that. Um, okay, so I think yeah. I understand. So you're saying. If we all use the one domain, then you can just browse. Any Etherpad automatically gets created, it's, gets it's, added to that. It's much easier. Yeah. And that's Ashikur's point. So great point, Ashikur. I think we're totally yeah. on, on board with that. Uh, we just need a name uh, because Sumo is not available. So let's think about a name. Sumo community is a little long. Sumonian, Sumo wires. I don't know. Just think about that, and, and we'll create it. I think it's a great idea. Yep. OK. If this is possible, then let's totally go for it. Um, and then we can let everybody know on the forums and um, through email. Hey guys, just all the either either pads are here. Uh, just look there, and it will be much easier. So thanks Ashikur for pointing this out. Um, it's a great idea. Any other questions regarding that? Okay, we need to be very fast because we only have a few minutes left. Um, Sumo performance issues that has been discussed. Sornava um, is asking about the bug regarding the progress ar bar on Army of Awesome. Um, yes, so no changes will be made this quarter, uh, according uh, to Kadir, because there is no time. But we definitely need to revise the goal that we already have. We'll probably uh, need to increase uh, the, the goal, but we'll see. Uh, let's continue the discussion on the bug, um, and we'll definitely reach a conclusion there. But we'll probably do it in Q1 because this quarter is way too short. And uh, Kadir is smiling, and I think he knows what I mean. Um, so Andy, also known as Pelut, is asking about user documentation for reviewers. Uh, and Rosanna is saying that she's already already working on that. Uh, so, any other uh, comments on this, Rosanna, or is just you share that when it's ready? Yeah, well, I'm working on that. Uh, if anyone has uh, any tips or, or, or anything, you can uh, uh, come to me. We have the English reviewer documentation, but it's, uh, it's true that for localizers, we don't have a lot on, on reviewing. Um, so, that's definitely something I'm working on. I'm, I've been working on screencasts, but um, it, it makes more sense to write it all down and put it in a KB article. So, I'm, I'm on it. But if anyone wants to help. OK. If anybody wants to help, please contact Rosanna. Cool. OK, uh, let's move on really quickly. Desktop, what do you have for us? Anything amazing? Um, we have one second. Nothing uh, interesting in release, and there's a read only for nightly. OK. <laughs> Thanks. Um, mobile, Firefox OS and Firefox for Android. Mobile, uh, just one update. It's not a very happy update, but unfortunately for uh, the Alcatel rollout, we had the Alcatel rollout in Poland last week, and there are some issues there. It seems that people lost contacts or uh, information from, from the contacts uh, app, and we have a bug uh, in progress, uh, and uh, Alcatel has stopped the rollout, and they reported the issue. So we are waiting for, for updates on this. That's okay, so it's not so bad. At least we know about it. Um, okay, thanks, Hermina. Any questions for Hermina and the crazy mobile world? <laughs> All right, if not, I'll move quickly to metrics. Kadir. Yep, just. Uh, Play around with the KPI dashboard. You will find it hopefully useful that you can now toggle sources on, uh, on and off, so you can get a clearer view of the ones that you actually care about. Uh, the zoom it zooms automatically into the uh, things that you care, so that uh, two different uh, lines um, don't make it hard to see when something is moving. That's why we did it. That's what you can see in there. But well, you can also see on the KPI dashboard that some numbers are dropping, especially on the questions part, uh, on, the, uh, on the support forum part. And we are thinking that is because of the slow load times, which can take up to 20 seconds. 
so hopefully we'll fix that today, and then uh, the numbers are going to go up again. It's been all our right. high, highest priority. Just just saying, like this was our higher, highest priority within the last two weeks. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Thanks, Kadir. Um, all right, let's move on to community. So, Rosanna, we want to talk about the the amazing yeah. Asian community. Yeah. Well, as as usual, the amazing Asian community uh, is very organized, and thanks to Amit and to Ernest, uh, we have a doodle for the next Asian uh, community meetup. Uh, so, please, if you want to attend it, uh, just uh, look at the doodle. We're gonna find the dates, and it's. Uh, it goes until the 29th, and we'll post on the forums when the next Asian community uh, meetup uh, will be. So I'm very excited. It's always a pleasure to attend those. Um, yeah, exactly. We're also doing. Uh, sorry, just that, but I think we're also uh, doing. We have a doodle. You can find it also in the forums for the buddy meeting, um, and uh, so you can we can totally check that out. All right, and I just wanted to say uh, welcome back to Joy99, who was away for a long time. I'm happy to see he's back and that he's okay. Um, so, hello. We really, really missed you around here. <laughs> um, we're happy that you're back. And I know somebody else who's really happy that you're back, but I won't say it. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's move on then to knowledge base. Quickly, one second. There's a note there. I put it. Sorry, there's a note there. I put it under the help needed section about the the Java article. I need help reproducing uh, an issue. So take a look at that. All right. Well done, Michael. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, thanks. It was too uh, long. Yeah, it was two seconds, not yeah. only one. <laughs> All right. Um, Elton N. Rosanna. Yeah, well, um, just as you say, we need some help uh, testing the shofar. Um, you'll find the, the, the blog post there. Um, so please, um, if you have some time, just help us there. Cool. All right, this feels like now really, really short. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, OK. Um, all right, I have so some more, but that's going to go in the contributors of the week, so just go on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, I'll move on to the support forum where I just want to call and congratulate uh, Philip for becoming moderator. Well done, Philip. Um, great job. Uh, thanks for your hard work. Uh, Everybody is really happy to have you on board, and the whole community really appreciates you. So, so welcome once again. And we are currently dis having a discussion regarding what does it mean to be a moderator for for because a lot of people want to be a moderator but they don't exactly know what it's all about so please join the discussion there um it is very interesting uh and maybe we can have more clarification about this whole moderator process process uh all right help desk you're next uh so there's a link to a thread in the forums there. We're having a discussion about what the right timing for escalating threads is. Um, there's been a lot of great uh, discussion so far. Uh, so if you get a chance, go up there and, and add your thoughts. Uh, we'll probably be making a decision this week as to when we're going to, uh, how long we're going to take before we start automatically escalating threads. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a great discussion as well. Uh, so please do join there and your opinions. These are very, very, very important to us because in this way we can understand how we can make this whole help this uh, community um, work. And because we really, really want to help uh, the community to um, answer all the threads and have no user left behind. Um, so please, guys, if you participate on the forum, you know what you, you're talking about, so please uh, join the, the discussion and say what your opinion is. That's really, really important. Thanks. Uh, yes, Patrick, did you want to say anything else? I just, I was just like rushing through. <laughs> no, that, I mean, I think we've covered it. Just go hit that thread and, and leave us some comments so we know what All you right. think. Cool. Uh, so we made it. We have one more minute um, in which we want to talk about the contributors of the week. Awesomeness. So let's start. Ooh. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, I want to congratulate especially the team that this thing you're going to uh, You guys are rocking it. If you look at the, the, the graphics, you know, things were going down and, you know, it picked it up. So thank you very much. It's uh, very appreciated when a community gets uh, active again. So thanks a lot. Him, the team, same. You guys are keeping bringing the, the, the numbers up. So thanks a lot. I put the whole team because it's a huge community. So thank you guys for, for, for uh, bringing Hindi up. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of my uh, um, the people that I nominated and also Alexandra from our Serbian community. You have been translating so many articles and you know we have users that are really going to need them, especially the Firefox OS articles. So Alexandra, thanks a lot for, for the amazing work. Those are my contributors of the week. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Great job on localization. Awesomeness. Uh, so I'll just go on and read out the, the, the others who were nominated. Uh, Andrew nominated quite a, quite a few. Um, Svetlana, is it a girl or boy? Svetlana for her amazing work um, in translating. And then this will be hard to read. AJ Joga was. And Megrai for rocking the Army of Awesome. Uh, and AJ well is, done, is guys. On, on the Etherpad, so cool. Yes, AJ, you're here. Well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, so well done, guys, for rocking the AOA. Um, that's, that's something awesome. Then Joshua S. for manual tagging almost 200 pieces of Australia's feedback. Woo! Who wow. Who wrote that? <laughs> awesome. Who nominated Joshua? Come on, show your face. Please do write your name in the either pass so we know. Sorry, um, uh, I nominated yeah. Joshua. Uh, he helped uh, tag a whole bunch of feedback uh, for our first Australis report, and he's volunteered to help tag feedback for the other ones. Um, wow. So a lot of time and a lot of work, so uh, thanks to him. All right, well done, Joshua. And we have two more Portuguese contributors. Ralph, did you nominate them? Yep. Uh, Toddy Victor, he's been, uh, he's been doing a lot of uh, forum answers. Uh, he's a fairly new contributor and he's been doing a great job in the forums. Uh, and we also have uh, Osten, uh, he's been doing insane amounts of translation uh, in the, uh, yep. the Portuguese Brazil forums uh, and mm -hmm. he's done a really good job at it. I love reading his translations, they're, they're amazing. Yeah, I, I, see, I see his name also very often, so uh, thanks a lot. And Brazilian Portuguese is right now at 100%, so great job, everyone in Brazil. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. David, you're muted. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Is it obrigado? Yeah. Obrigado. Yeah. What happened to your hair, David? <laughs> huh? What happened to your hair? My hair is thankful. <laughs> <laughs> So great job, everybody who was on the contributor of the week list for for uh, today. This is amazing job, as you can see. Papa San is showing his his little paw, saying, "Well done." David Hare is all messy to show his support. Um, I have nothing behind me to show that, but you have all my heart. So well done, everybody. That's a great job and amazing efforts. So thank you for doing um, all this great work for Sumo. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, and thanks everybody for writing in your nomination, nominations as well because that's very important to actually recognize uh, the people next to you. So please continue to do that. And with this, I will end the community meeting for today. Thanks everybody for Can joining. I, yeah, yes, sorry, Rosanna. Marlena, just one last comment. I know I'm, I'm making this longer. Uh, if you have any feedback on this uh, meeting, uh, please let us know in the forums because we're trying to iterate on the format. So just let us know what you think about yes. this. This was way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Have a great week. Bye.